Political posters you see driving through town should be disappearing soon. News 12's Talaya Munson tells us what happens to the signs after tomorrow's primaries. Generally, the protocol for these signs after the election. The law says that they have to be taken up before the 10th day after the election. Uh, and that's generally if there's not a runoff. And he says even the winners aren't allowed to keep signs up until November's general election in Texas. We should start to see some of the signs disappearing after the uh, election is certified. Lieutenant Jeremy Cox with the Sherman Police Department says many of these signs are found on private property with permission from the owner. They can't be on the state owned roadway or uh, affixed to anything that is owned by the state like a like a pole or a sign pole or anything like that. According to TxDOT, it is illegal to place any signs on or within the right of way, including trees, telephone poles, traffic signs, and other objects. Cox says if the state has to remove a sign, then whomever placed the sign, or potentially the politician that it's attributed to, could get a bill for the cost of removing it. In Sherman, Talia Munson, News 12.